Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss one of the medication, fluorouracil cream. 5-fluorouracil is one of the anti-cancer agent. This medication is topically used to treat skin cancer. It is available as a cream as well as topical solution for treating skin cancer. However, whenever using 5-fluorouracil, you should take few of the precautions. What happens when it is contact with pets? How it should be used in the pregnancy? And what is its effect on eye? All these are essential to know before using 5-fluorouracil cream. In this video, we will discuss all such important facts about this medication. First of all, let us see how this medication works. 5-fluorouracil can enter into the cells by facilitated transport. Within the cells, this 5-fluorouracil can interact with one of the enzyme thymidylate synthetase. This enzyme is responsible for conversion of uracil into the thymidine analogs. Since 5-fluorouracil is an analog of uracil, it is going to be converted into few of the metabolites like 5-fluorodeoxyuridine monophosphate as well as 5-fluorodeoxythymidine phosphate. These two are the false metabolites which are not useful for DNA synthesis. Instead, these two metabolites can block the activity of thymidylate synthetase. This enzyme is actually responsible for conversion of DUMP deoxyuridine monophosphate into DTMP deoxythymidine monophosphate. Now, this step is blocked by these false metabolites leading to inhibition of DNA synthesis as well as RNA synthesis. In this way, 5-fluorouracil can inhibit cell proliferation and it can reduce the cancer cell propagation. Now, let us the precautions of this medication. When you apply the 5-fluorouracil cream topically on the skin, at the applied area, it can produce some unpleasant look which may be present for several weeks even after stopping of the therapy. This is normal with uh, any topical anti-cancer agents since this medication can produce a local reaction. At the applied area, you may observe an unpleasant skin structure. However, this may be resolved after several weeks of the treatment. At the same time, the applied area may be more sensitive. Therefore, you should avoid direct exposure to the UV radiation which may produce severe inflammation. So, care should be taken to avoid direct exposure with UV radiation. When you are going to use occlusive dressings, they may contain the medication which may be in contact with the adjacent skin you are going to apply. This accidental contact with the skin surfaces around the applied area may produce inflammation. Therefore, care should be taken to avoid any contact with normal skin while using this medication. When you are handling the pets, any accidental contact of 5-fluorouracil by the pets may produce abnormal effects. Due to any accidental ingestion of this medication may produce fatal effects, even death of the pets because of toxicity of 5-fluorouracil. Therefore, while you are handling this medication, wash your hands very carefully before contacting with any pets. Even keep the drug out of reach of pets. You should take care while handling this medication. Any contact of this medication with carpets, furniture may also increase the risk of accidental ingestion of this medication by pets which may lead to fatal effects. When you are applying the 5-fluorouracil to inflamed skin, it increases the risk of systemic absorption. This may lead to systemic toxicity as many of the anti-cancer agents are toxic in nature and 5-fluorouracil can also produce systemic toxicity leading to a number of systemic side effects. This medication should be applied such that there is a minimal systemic absorption to avoid systemic side effects. This may also happen when you are going to apply to the ulcerated skin where the chance of absorption of medication into the body increases. When you are going to apply 5-fluorouracil to the skin, it can produce few of the local site reactions. This may result in the increased dryness of the skin and erythema redness of the skin. It can also produce some edema swelling of the skin and even you can observe some scaling due to the increased dryness of the skin. These reactions may be observed even after 4 weeks of stopping of the therapy which may be slowly recovered after several weeks. Again, you have to take the care when you are using the 5-fluorouracil particularly applied on the face. You should not use this medication at the periocular area 
the area adds into the eye. When you are applying this medication to the periocular area, the risk of accidental contact with the eye may be increased, which may produce few of the eye problems like corneal reactions. This may increase the inflammation in the eye and even it can increase the risk of systemic absorption. Therefore, avoid in contact with eye and periocular area. You should not apply this cream to nose, mouth, even mucous membrane. When this medication is used in the pregnant woman, it may increase the risk of miscarriage because this medication can reduce the sense of both DNA as well as RNA. It can produce some imbalanced growth in the children. Therefore, 5-fluoroacetyl produces birth defects when it is used in the pregnant woman. Dihydropyridine dehydrogenase is an important enzyme that is responsible for metabolism of 5-fluoroacetyl. Actually, this enzyme is responsible for metabolism of uracil in the body. Now, in the people with deficiency of this enzyme, the metabolism of 5-fluoroacetyl is going to be reduced, which results in the increased levels of this medication in the body. This may result in the toxicity. Therefore, in people with deficiency of this enzyme, the dose of 5-fluoroacetyl should be reduced. And if you observe any symptoms of systemic toxicity, immediately this drug should be discontinued. Now, let us see the side effects of this medication. 5-fluoroacetyl mainly produce local reactions like pain at the site of application, itching, burning, and photosensitivity. It can also produce few of the other reactions like headache, insomnia, lack of sleep, irritability, and hyperpigmentation. It may also increase the pigmentation at the applied area. How to take this medication? 5-fluoroacetyl is available as a cream for topical purpose at different strengths, starting from very low strengths such as 0.5%. However, it is also available at higher strengths such as 4% and 5%. Type of cream that is going to be used depends on the extent of treatment that is required. It is also available as a topical solution for treating skin cancer. This medication should be applied as a thin film. It can be applied either once a day or twice a day depends on the concentration of the medication you are going to use. You can observe the effectiveness of this treatment at least after one to two months of the treatment. So that's all about this medication, 5-fluoroacetyl used as a topical cream to treat skin cancer. While using this medication, handling of pets should be very careful as it increases the fatal effects to the pets, even leading to their death. This medication produces few of the local reactions and increase pigmentation, dryness and scaling of the skin. When it is applied to the inflamed skin, it may increase the systemic toxicity. It should not be applied to the eye and even pericorneal area. In the pregnant woman, when it is used, it may produce miscarriage or birth defects. So that's all about the important information of 5-fluoroacetyl cream. I hope you really enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.